Uh, welcome, um, Councillors Allen, Mayock, and White. Thank you for joining us and everybody from the city of Syracuse. Uh, so we have two items for today. Um, I have the first one here, Sharon um, Deputy Owens, um, Mayor Owens. Um, you, this is a letter that you sent to enter into an agreement with CNY Works. Uh, this is something that we probably do, we've been doing for a few years, is for the summer program. This is something we've been doing for a few years from the summer program. When I saw the agreement forwarded to me, I noticed that there was um, information regarding insurance requirements and et cetera. I checked with Joe Barry and he said that we um, should bring this through the council for that reason. Um, there's no cost to the city. We provide the locations for um, employment um, placements and CNY works or other funding, but CNY works um, pays the actual salary of the young people. So what's the insurance requirement about? Uh, sorry. <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Or I can or I can or I can send an email to the to the committee on the insurance requirements. Sure. It's, okay. it's general liability requirements. I oh liability. Okay. All yeah. right. Okay, sure. If you if um, you don't you can send it, you know, to us. Okay. That's fine. All right. Uh, is the, is this every, everything that we should know about this, or is there anything else that you wanna? Yeah, the only thing we're trying to get our handle around now, post not even post COVID, but in this kind of transition period, is um, how many locations or how many departments. Typically, our departments have really welcomed these young people in. Um, we're trying to figure out whether or not you know we anticipate um, reduced number of placements based on the availability of staff. Um, to take it, take young people on and 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 um, what we're also learning from CNY Works is there is um, the potential that they'll even be able they could not do it before work remotely but there could be the chance that that happens if that happens then that would open the door a little bit more for young people um, Jeremy has said that he would welcome any young person that wants to work on his crew. So um, while we probably won't have as many as we've had before, we still want to, the city of Syracuse to be a location that, that young people will have work experience. Are we involved in the potential of, of getting the kids, the students into locations in the neighbor, I mean, outside of City Hall, or is that something they do? Is but they do it. They they um, send out requests for work sites. So even when I was at Southwest, I'm sure when you were at La Liga, um, we would have we would have kids there as placements. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, but that comes through us through the city, or no? no just the city place directly. Them. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Just in case, if anybody would ask. And Maria so. does a great job of not only the work placement, but she gets them connected with. Um, through the FEC program with um, um, financial counseling. Many of them, mm -hmm. this is the first time they're gonna get a check. So we wanna talk to them about banking, setting up bank accounts, that type of thing. Okay, excellent. All right, uh, are there any questions from the counselors from the committee? Not a question, just a comment. Um, if we could get them connected with DW and uh, Jeremy to do like the neighborhood quadrant cleanups, like that would be yep. phenomenal. Cause That's especially we... now it's so much trash everywhere, but I know DPW, mm -hmm. They can't, I don't want to say waste time, but, you know, they don't have the manpower to do that. Plus do street yeah. pavings and everything else. Counselor, we're also even looking at some money that we did not spend because of COVID and we couldn't get, you know, kids on site or young people, let me stop calling them kids on site um, um, to potentially do some of that even now before the end of the fiscal year. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that would mm -hmm. be awesome. Yep. Yeah, I went through the east side on my commute and it looked like the Tasmanian devil went through that side of town. <laughs> yeah, especially night. yesterday with the trash. I, and the I wind. In, yeah, it was yeah. it was ridiculous. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we did some cleaning up last weekend here in my area too, and it looks a lot better, but still, you know, there's, yeah. 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 All right, anybody no. else? Uh, I. So I, I see you wanting to ask a question. Yes, yes. Uh, De Deputy Mayor, uh, what's, what's the age? Uh, how young can they be? So CMY Works um, will employ between uh, 14 or 15 to about 21 or 22. Um, typically, the 14-year-olds 
don't get placement because the placement areas don't want to bring on kids that young. We don't do a lot of pl any placement um, um, younger than about 15 or 16 is and up is where we like here at the city of Syracuse. But to, to, to respond to that, we've been working with last year, particularly the Allen Foundation provided funding that we set up a um, intern work experience um, program for those younger kids. And they were 13, 14, 15 years old. Um, so uh, we're going to be uh, working on that again because they still need to get some kind of work experience. We want to get some money in their pockets and, and, and get them engaged in some positive activity. But that'll be outside of CNY Works. Okay, and I take and I take that the out the hours would would at least be below twenty hours a week, right? Or yeah, yeah. Most of the CNY works hours are about twenty hours a week, and the other thing we don't know really yet is whether the school district is going to have summer summer um, programming. So that may affect our our ability too, depending on if that happens and what hours. They may bring that information in the April 8th meeting, so we'll know next week. Yeah, great. Okay, and I, and I, I take that this would uh, presumably start after the school ends, right? Yes, we typically start um, the right after the 4th of July weekend. Okay. Yeah. And, it, and it's um, about a six week program. Yeah, I, just just to concur with their, uh, the other counselors, Deputy Mayor, I think I think this is good uh, as a as a community. So, Sometimes we 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 catch up too late, and and this is this is a good way to really start, you know, giving kids option to to to, to start exploring other things other than the usual, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and also on the other end of that, um um. Um, age spectrum, not to confuse things, because this is not CNY Works, but we're, we always try to um, kind of surround the CNY Works program with other supports. We have young people who are teenagers, CNY Works age eligible, that aren't income eligible, but their parents are still working two jobs. And mm -hmm. so we look for resources to help that population as well, who could use the work experience, but their family income exceeds the CNY Works income requirements. Okay. What's the capacity of the program? In how many kids can we get in the program? Uh, uh, here at the city of Syracuse, it will be dependent upon the, the, the ability for the department heads. Um, typically, the parks department has brought on, you know, um, 80, 80 some uh -huh. kids, but this year, we don't know. We're not sure what's going to happen with the park, you know, the mm -hmm. parks as we've known it. So we're trying to figure it out. But as of maybe last week, I think they had 800 applicants at CNY Works. Oh my God. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah. It's a big program. Okay. Yeah. That's a great, that's great. Mm -hmm. All righty. I, so we'll move this into the agenda. Uh, everybody, everybody okay with that? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, I think, um, Ronnie, do you have your hand up? Or is that? Oh, I'm sorry, uh, Ronnie. Go ahead, Ronnie. Go ahead. Dr. Allen. Yes, uh, Deputy Mayor. I was just wondering. You know, I want to ask a question about this insurance requirement. Is this something that the city is going to have to purchase, or would it fall under some existing insurance that the city already has? We have general um, insurance covered under the city, so we would just have to 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 provide proof of that. Okay, understood. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Ronnie. All right, so is everybody then okay moving this into the agenda? I, I definitely see no, no problem with that. Um, Councilor White, are you okay with this? Yes, yeah. Okay. Uh, yes. Councilor Major, I see you. Yeah, okay, good. All right, so then our next item, it is, we have Terry Tucker, I believe, in the call. Um, not sure she was able to make it. She was in between airports. Um, this is, this is to research. research. The research yes. item? Yeah. It's not the research grant. Oh, excellent. So it's the, the racial justice grant. That's what you mean? Yeah. So we so so from time to time we'll find out that there are some opportunities um around um policing that come about. And we had one that came um really quickly upon us. And so we and and I apologize for the vagueness of the letter, but the crux of what we're looking to apply for, not to exceed a hundred thousand dollars, is around alternatives to policing. 
So when there is a mental health crisis, our ability to respond. But specifically, what we're looking to do is partner with Syracuse Community Connections. We most people know it as the Southwest Community Center. They are in an agreement with the uh, Syracuse University Fault College around mental health services, particularly for communities of color. And so as we look at responses to um, people in crisis, um, um, from the policing aspect. Not only do we want to um, identify when it is appropriate to have an alternative response with um, um, certified and qualified and licensed cl uh, clinical people and outreach teams, but we also want to um, understand and, and make sure we're looking at the cultural aspects around people, individuals based on race, language difference, cultural differences. And so there is a program housed at um, Southwest Community Center through Syracuse Community Con Connections that we're going, uh, Janet is on vacation. And so she's back on Monday and then we're gonna connect with them and just lay out um, the parameters of the program. They're already providing these support services to um, individuals to connect that with how we're providing outreach in um, um, 911 calls or situations where we probably can get some more assistance around cultural issues. So it's a collaborative between the city, the folk, uh, what is it, the um, uh, folk. the folk so college, folk, and folk then college and Southwest or folk college in Syracuse. I mean, um, Syracuse Community Connections already have a program running at Southwest. So we, we would partner with that program. Oh, okay, so the one hundred thousand dollars, if we get that grant, would be to suffice the cost of that collaboration when we're in that collaboration. Okay. Is, are there any other questions from anybody else? No? Are we okay uh, then? Yes, no, go I ahead. have a question. Go Sorry. ahead, go ahead. Who is this program aimed towards? It, 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 we, we've we been sitting in on meetings with um, the National Action Network in particular, that when we talk about um, in general, alternatives to policing, there's always been the concern that the we have a great relationship with Liberty Resources and there are other outreach teams that we can call upon that can assist individuals in crisis. But, but the question and the, the reality of the fact of the matter is that sometimes maybe those teams are not equipped to understand cultural nuances that come when we're talking about people with other languages or whether they are um, new American population individuals or whether they're um, people from African American communities. So that program has been, and the other aspect, um, Council White, is that it is no secret that community of communities of color do not seek mental health services on the rate that um, other communities do. And so the, the crux of that program at Southwest is to provide um, the service or the referrals um, and the support to individuals who find themselves in crisis. We see this application as an opportunity to take the work that they're doing and see and, and, and find a way to help it apply to how we're looking to respond around policing as well. And so it, you know, it's $100,000, but if it can support the work they're doing to these communities, particularly around that area, um, we're hoping that we can get an application submitted and approved and funded. Certainly, and I, I agree with a lot of that, um, Deputy Mayor. I, but I'm also I'm also struggling a little bit to see the direct connection with police reform. So, is it that you know you're seeking to um, build a cultural competency in people that will be responding in lieu of the police, or is it simply to direct services to people who might do uh, follow-up services uh, for people who are in crisis when they call on one? You know, Councilor White, and because we had to get the letter in before we could actually get into the meat of that so we could follow the protocol for submitting an application, um, one of the things that I'm looking at is could it actually, as we're looking at uh, our responses and we're calling agencies, if it's an individual who, who, who um, is unfamiliar with our, 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 our new American community, for example, could we have enough funding to be able to train and get an additional team member who can also respond when those situations arise? Okay. Have we done this before? Um, the no, no. This is no. Okay. Um, 
Joel or Latoya, any questions on your end? No? I'm, I'm good. Yeah. No, I'm good. Okay, great. All right. Council so Santiago, Joel, I have a comment and I just yes. want to piggyback on with Deputy Mayor Owens because the cultural competence piece is going to be so critical. Um, when it comes to handling some of these situations. And I'm going to talk from a micro level, okay? And it was about me. I went to the doctors, and you know how you go through those things, and you tell the doctor what your issue is, and they'll tell you, well, well they don't see it like that. Again, that was a cultural thing, and she didn't listen. So even when it comes to our responding, when we're talking about police, when we're talking about social workers, because let's be perfectly clear, that the majority of our not-for-profit health and human services are white leadership. And the cultural piece of it is going to be huge when you're talking about a leadership that a lot of them have never inter interacted on a level they're being to interact on now. So thank you, Deputy Mayor. I mean, yeah, that's what I meant. Thank you, President Hudson. Um, uh, Deputy Mayor, do you think we would have um, a more clear stance on what you were exactly applying for before the um, before the it, meeting. It, uh, what is your your vote date is when, Councilor? Uh, John, do you have that information? It's due on the nineteenth. Yeah, the voting is on the twelfth, and then the committee meeting is. On yeah, the yeah, Janet so will be back Friday, and then, yeah, Janet will be back Friday, and I'll, we'll be able to get some more solidified details of it by 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 the end of next week so can you send that to us when, absolutely. when you okay. absolutely okay excellent yeah. all right okay uh, so which, um, if you could um, also provide it to the city clerk so it could be part of the package yes sir. Excellent. yes thank you thank yes you. which group over there um at southwest would actually be handling this is it going to be like noble in them or is it do you know yet so they are, um, um, the individual over there is actually works right now for Liberty Resources, but is a student, uh, uh, I believe he's a PhD student of the Folk College. So the relationship is with the college, but the individual has relate, has um, works for Liberty right now. So he, he really is, um, Brandon is really, um, 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 really astute around this topic, particularly when it comes to the cultural aspect of it. And so uh, we, that's why we think that's a good place to, 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 to build that relationship. Gotcha. Okay. All right. So for now, I, I feel comfortable moving it into the agenda provided we got, we have a better description before the, the voting uh, meeting. Um, is everybody okay with that plan? We should move move this forward. Yes. Yes. Let's move it, Rita. Okay. Okay. Great. Thank you. All and right, I'll so, get you the the insurance information as well. Oh, excellent. Thank okay. you. Thank you for that. Yes. So, alrighty then. So there's uh, no more. Uh, no, there are no other items. So we are done. Thank you, everybody, for participating. Thank you, Deputy Mayor. Thank you.